well, 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 don't look now, but the Chicago Cubs are finally playing consistent, good baseball. But is it too little, too late? We're going to talk about it right after the intro. Welcome to the number one place for all Chicago baseball. Let's start the show. All right, all right. Welcome to another episode of Chicago Cubs Central. I'm your host here, Big Broski. Y'all already know, hit us up at 773-689-6954 or Chicago Baseball Central at gmail.com. Let's get right to it. The Chicago Cubs have won three out of the last four series that they've been in. They've also won eight out of their last 13 games. These guys are just piling up wins. They had a nice, strong homestand, which culminated in an eight, a resounding 8-2 to two victory over the Minnesota Twins today. And the Minnesota Twins are a really good team, second place in their division with 63 wins, looking to make the playoffs themselves. The Cubs know that every single game matters at this point. Well, every single game always matters. But, hey, it's not March or April anymore. It's time to put away teams and win convincing games. And they did so today, uh, getting homers from Michael Bush and Ian Happ got a homer. And they just basically just took off on these guys after they looked like Minnesota was going to keep it interesting uh, in the second inning when they took the 2-1 lead over the Chicago Cubs. The Cubs just went crazy and didn't give up any more runs, scoring seven unanswered runs to go out with an 8-2 win in the winner of today's game. Uh, for the Chicago Cubs was Javier Assad. Well, did Assad get the win? I don't know. No, no, Lopez got the win. Uh, but two in his pitch, two hits, and two strikeouts for that young man. But Assad was solid with four in his pitch, three hits, two earned runs, two walks, and a you know a, uh, a strikeout. Drew Smiley came in and did okay uh, after giving up the home giving up a home run last night. Uh, Lopez came in with the. Um, with the uh for the win and then Hodge, my namesake, uh gave a strong inning and Merriweather closed out the game for the a, a nice victory for the Cubs today, man. Like, you know, they're they're just turning things around. They're turning things around. Uh P. Crone Armstrong's doing a lot better. Uh your boy Bellinger got hurt again, hamstring in trouble after a bad slide last night. So he's out of the lineup for the time being. But it didn't matter. The guys are focused. Focus more focused than um than 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 I've seen them be all season long. But is it too little, too late? Like you gotta wonder this about the Chicago Cubs who find themselves again. You know they're right. They're not necessarily in last place, but they're not in. They could be in second place, especially if they had swept the St. Louis Cardinals. But the Central Division is muddied up. The Milwaukee Brewers are sitting in first place at 63 and 49, but St. Louis is right there at 58 and 56, six games out. The Pittsburgh Pirates are sitting at 56 and 56 at seven games out. The Cubs are 57 and 60 with two games coming up this weekend versus the White Sox, who ended their 21 game losing streak <laughs> last night, but started a new losing streak as they lost today. And then they got to play the Cubs. Uh, this weekend, and the Cubs should get both of those games. But, hey, the way this season been going, it's been topsy-turvy for the Cubs. So they might, who knows, it's not a given that they'll beat the White Sox twice. And then the Reds are 55 and 58 right behind the Cubs at eight and a half games out of first place in the division. However, the wild card situation is even more interesting because in the National League, it's about eight or nine teams fighting for three spots. You got the Arizona Diamondbacks sitting at the top of the wild card at 62 and 52. San Diego Padres at the same record for that second spot. And the Braves having a little bit of a free fall. They've lost three straight. They're sitting at 60 and 52 for that third spot. The New York Mets at 59 and 54, one and a half games out right behind them. St. Louis, three games out at 58 and 56. Pirates, four games out. The uh, San Francisco Giants, four and a half games out. And the Cubs are five and a half games out of the last um, wild card spot. So they got some work to do. Cincinnati's right there as well at five and a half games out of the last wild card spot. So just thinking about is it too little, too late? After the two games versus the Chicago White Sox, the Cubs are going to go on the road to play the Cleveland 
Guardians. Now, Cleveland is in first place in their division, and they're not a bad team. They're a really good uh, home team. So the Cubs are going to have to try to see if they can keep it going and take two out of three versus them. Toronto, another team that they don't want to have no smoke with, no trouble with. But this is going to be at home, and the home home stand has been good for the Cubs. They got three games versus Toronto, then three games versus Detroit, and then they go on the road again against Miami. But this is when you're going to find out if the Chicago Cubs are really serious about making the postseason run because they have a nine-game road trip starting in Miami, and then they – Play Pittsburgh for three and then Washington for three. And then Pittsburgh comes to Chicago for three to start the month of September. Now, going into the month of September, we'll see if the Cubs are really trying to make a real push. Because those six games versus the Pittsburgh Pirates to end the month of August and begin the month of September, that's going to tell the difference between this team. It's going to tell us if they're really serious about making a playoff push. But it seems like they are. Isaac Paredes is coming around. He's getting big hits. He's taking care of business. Um, You know, uh, Ian Happ is doing his thing. Uh, PCA is starting to hit consistently because he's getting consistent reps. The pitching, the starting pitching has been great. I mean, what can we say about Shota Imanaga? Last night, my man had another 10 strikeouts. He has just been phenomenal. Definitely should be the rookie of the year, regardless of what happens to the Cubs for the playoffs. And then you also have... um, Justin Steele rounding into form. Jamison Tyone. Um, it sucks that uh, uh, Alzale is out for the season for the bullpen, but the bullpen has even been taking care of business. So can Craig Council push enough buttons to make the Chicago Cubs a real contender for the postseason? And my answer is yes. If not now, then when? You got to beat the White Sides a couple of times, and then you got to start taking these th- two out of three, two out of three, two out of three, or go on a nice win streak. Let's see if the if the Cubs can do the opposite of the White Sides and get double digit wins instead of double digit losses in a row. They're gonna need to do it, man. They got to prove that they're ready because the month of September is not gonna be pretty for them either. But they got a chance to make the playoffs. They got a chance to actually win their division. They don't have to play St. Louis anymore. They don't have to play Milwaukee anymore. Let those guys beat up on each other and see if you can make up some ground in the division while they fighting it out themselves over there with each other. So can the Cubs do it? Yes. Will they? Man, I don't know. They haven't shown me enough consistency all season. They've been playing sub-500 baseball all season. They got a chance to make it to 500 over the next three or four games. If they can get to 500 and start taking two out of three, three out of four, frankly, I the way I see it, out of these next 45 games to end the season, the Chicago Cubs are going to have to win 30 to 35 games to make the playoffs, to get to 87 or 90 wins to make the playoffs. So can they really – Go on a stretch where they only lose 10 games, man, that's going to be tough. But if they if they go on this stretch, though, where they play 15 to 20 games above 500 for the rest of the season, oh, they're going to be in the playoffs. And they're going to be one of the hottest teams to go into the playoffs if they do this the way that it's, it's playing itself out to be or, you know, lining itself up. So it's up to them. It's really up to them. Can they keep this momentum going? Winning eight out of thirteen is right on. It's, it's right on pace. Like they, you got to really win ten out of thirteen if you want to keep the, the proper pace to win, uh, make it to the playoffs. So the Cubs have their chances, and I'm not giving up on them. Like the Cubs, White Sox gave up on themselves. The Cubs haven't given up on themselves either. But it's going to be on Craig Council, who has not impressed me as a skipper to this season. He, he just hasn't. He he definitely hasn't done better than the David Ross was doing last year. Or the year before so like i don't know uh but it's up to the cubs if they can keep doing things the way they're doing though they're getting hits they got good pitching everything is meshing up because throughout the season it's really been oh the pitching's good but the hitting isn't and the hitting's good but the pitching isn't now everything is, is cohesive so can you stay cohesive over the next 45 games to the tune of winning 30 plus of those games that's what's going to happen if the Cubs are going to make it to the playoffs. Let us know what y'all think down below in the comments. And, uh, hey, hit us up, 773-389-6954 for any questions, concerns, or comments. Uh, Chicago Baseball Central at gmail.com. Uh, this is your number one spot for all things Chicago baseball related. We growing. We appreciate all the love and support that y'all giving us over here. Don't forget the rest of the Shout Town Sports family. I am your host, Big Bro. Shout out to the Cubs for winning two out of the three 
last series or three out of the four last series and uh, eight out of 13 games, man, is to make this interesting. Uh, the Central Division race is not over. Milwaukee is not out of the woods. Uh, you know, they can be caught. Uh, and then the, the, the wild card situation is not over. Uh, the Cubs can get one of those three spots, uh, but it's going to take them beating uh, the Pittsburgh Pirates and all these other guys in front of them. And they finished the season against Cincinnati. So that's going to be interesting. But it's all the games that they got to play. Every game matter. Every inning matters. Every pitch matters. Every hit, every at bat, every situation matters. Craig Council, it's on you, brother. What you going to do? All right, y'all. I'm going to holler at y'all next time. Peace.